Hello and welcome to the print video. I am Sumi Sukanya Datta and I have with me Mr. Nikhil K. Masurkar, CEO of Entode Pharma. Entode has created a buzz of sorts by launching an eye drop, Press Woo, that promises to eliminate the need to wear reading glasses for middle aged people. That's quite an uh, uh, innovation that you have done. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Mr. Masurkar. Please tell us how this drug was developed and how does it work? Thank you so much for the introduction. Um, so basically, we started uh, development of uh, this drug in 2019, just before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, we got advice from a lot of, of eye doctors that there's no corrective uh, measure for press biopia in, uh, in an eye drop form. Uh, so right. we were advised that we should develop something that would really work therapeutically. So we started work on this. We developed... Um, our formulation, uh, and thereafter in 2022, we uh, submitted uh, our application to the DCGI, uh, and then they recommended that we do clinical trials in India. Uh, so we did that, and then eventually we, uh, after successfully finishing the trials, we submitted uh, the data back to the DCGI, and we got the uh, DCGI approval eventually. So it's been uh, five years in the making, um, right. You know, it's all to do with my research team and all the doctors who have been part of this and guiding us uh, into the development of this uh, this therapy. Right. This drug is very similar formulation by the name Beauty has been there in the U.S. for a couple of years. And uh, this the drug Press Woo that you have launched here also has the same uh, API, which is pilocarpine 1.25%. So tell us how this Presvo is different from uh, uh, from VT, and also uh, tell us something about the clinical trials. What's all because this data is not publicly available yet. So what results in terms of efficacy was there in the clinical trials? So there have been formulations containing uh, pilocarpin, uh, you know, which have been indicated for press biopia, but none of them have been tested, uh, at least not in Indian eyes. Uh, the formulation in the U.S. Uh, contains phylocarpin, no doubt. Uh, but the one that we developed was a, a proprietary formulation that was more in line with uh, Indian eyes. Bear in mind that Indian eyes are more pigmented than uh, Caucasian, uh, uh, Caucasian eyes. Um, so the studies were never done on any formulation uh, intended for the population here in India. Uh, so there are a lot of changes in the formulation in terms of the excipients, in terms of uh, the base that we use. Um, and there's uh, um, a new technology that we've incorporated into these eye drops, which uh, allows it to uh, kind of be more comfortable for long term use and more suitable for Indian patients. So that is the difference between the two. And we even applied for um, a patent uh, for this formulation because of all the differentials compared to the original, uh, you know, uh, pilocarpin that was there in the U.S. So it is quite innovative uh, in that sense. Um, coming to the question of the clinical trial, uh, this trial was done in 10 different sites in India. Um, it had uh, about 250 patients um, and uh, the results were very impressive. Uh, we found uh, within, you know, one day of use, we had about three lines uh, improvement uh, on an eye chart, um, which was uh, very satisfactory for an ophthalmologist, for example, when he would, if they would uh, assess the effectiveness of uh, something for press biopia. We found that uh, the maximum effect takes place in 15 days um, and uh, its long term use also is quite well established. Uh, so, overall, the clinical data results which were submitted to the SEC were well accepted. Um, in Indian eyes, uh, and we subsequently got DCGI approval. The full clinical data will also be published uh, in a peer review journal very soon. Right now, we have it mainly for submission to the regulatory agencies, uh, but it will be available uh, online to the public, um, and uh, everyone will be able to have a look at it as well. How much will this uh, eye drop cost, and by when do you think will it be available uh, across uh across pharmacies in the country? See, when we um, got on this, got onto this mission of uh, 
uh, innovating in indigenous formulations and new medicines in India, one of the uh, one of the principles that we uh, we follow uh, is to make sure that all these medicines uh, are affordable for all. Um, and so affordability uh, is the key aspect of this. We want to make sure that our products reach out to even the rural settings, right to the metros. Uh, so the product is quite economically priced, uh, you know, considering the amount of investment that's been made in developing it in India from scratch. Uh, so it's priced at 345 rupees for a pack of uh, 5 ml, which is a 5 ml bottle. Um, and it will be launched uh, in the first week of October. Uh, the, the, the first batch is currently under production now, uh, you know, after its DCGI approval. So we're all excited for the launch and uh, we're making, uh, you know, already making uh, arrangements uh, for, the, for the nationwide launch. And also it will be available under prescription by an eye specialist, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. So press biopia uh, is a condition which needs to be diagnosed by, a, by an ophthalmologist. Uh, we recommend that everyone, uh, irrespective of their age, should see an eye doctor at least once, once every, every year. year. Yeah. Um, and this medicine is only available uh, against the prescription of a doctor. Uh, so it's very important that uh, they only get it from the doctor. It's not available for uh, purchase uh, over the counter at all. Yeah. Also, uh, you know, tell us about, you know, going ahead. Do you really see, because as, as of now, the treatment options available for press biopic people is uh, either reading glasses or surgery. Going ahead, do you think, you know, this uh, eye drop can really, in a way, replace the existing treatment options? Also talk about, because we don't know about the side effects of the drugs, yet any drug as it is comes with some side effect. In case of uh, pilocarpine, as you mentioned, uh, there has been some scientific evidence that it's also uh, linked with ret retinal uh, detachment in very rare cases. So can you uh, talk a little about the possible side effects which are also associated with the eye drop? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, these, this, uh, uh, these eye drops, uh, you know, they've been thoroughly tested. Um, with all medicines, there are obviously you know certain side effects which we need to uh, which we need to document. Um, with uh, in this current clinical trial, we found that the side effects were um, very minor and transient, uh, which means it you know it kind of goes away in a couple of days, and they were very rare. I think only in two percent uh, of the uh, of the people uh, that they experienced mild redness or irritation. Uh, you know, something along those lines, but nothing serious enough um, to be worried about. In fact, all the patients who started the trial completed the trial, so nobody pulled out because of side effects or anything. And the side effects are very mild and transient. Um, you know, once your body, once your eye gets used to it, after a few hours, you know, you, you tend to adapt to it uh, very fast. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap for this conversation. Thank you so much for uh, joining us and all the best. For your, Thank uh, you so much. Thanks for having me.